in the system of the jal the most dangerous threat is for young generation you know that how our young generation is being attacked from every corner sometimes they may be killed physically and sometimes they may be killed spiritually every tool every force is being used to destroy this young generation and you know that shaitan beautifies the sins in front of you so that you may get attracted to the sin and finally you commit it same is done by the system of the jal system of the jal also beautifies these tools to attract the young generation especially and once you get attached to this system it's quite difficult for you to detach yourself from this system uh, yeah i remember one thing a f- uh, few years ago i met a brother actually i was sitting uh, and i was watching a video the video was about illuminati in the next corner he was listening and when i finished he came to me and he said i did not know that islam also talks about illuminati i said yeah it does in fact rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam predicted 1400 years ago all these happenings which are happening today he has already predicted all this then we were talking and you know what he said hey arab he said i want to join illuminati i was shocked astaghfirullah i said why he said i want to become rich i want to become famous i said you know what they do there they have to worship the devil they have to sacrifice for him he said it's okay i will do i said what about your iman what about your islam he said i will repent later astaghfirullah and i said what if you did not get a chance to repent he said you know what he said for how long i will burn in jahannam i could not believe my ears that i'm really listening such words from a muslim brother and you know this is happening in kashmir they want to become famous they want to become rich and for this they are ready to do anything they are ready to leave islam they are ready to become devil worshipers and we are fighting for the things which holy matter my dear brothers and sisters these are the hard times for the muslim ummah you must do anything to protect your iman you know the um, the system the system of dajjal is so much influence on our young generation they don't like these rules they don't like these rules at all they want to become free you know uh, they want to uh, become f- physically free mentally they are being imprisoned and now they want to become physically free they they don't like these rules they don't like these rules few days ago a sister asked me i have a brother in my school okay can i talk to him i said no it's not allowed in islam he's not your uh, he's not your brother actually he is a stranger for you the brother is at your home whom uh, you do not talk in a good way and you want to talk to mm, the stranger thinking that he is my brother no he is not your brother it is not allowed to talk to him and you know what she said she said then what is allowed in islam what she mean actually was why these rules everything is this uh, life is like prison i said no it is not like prison it is a prison in fact rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said ad dunya usjinul mu'min wa jannatul kafir this world 
is a prison for a believer and it is a paradise for a disbeliever they can do anything they wish but you have to follow the rules made by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you don't he does not care he will bring a new generation which will be far better than you and me he does not need us but we need him <laughs>